My name is Robert Weeks. I'm a mixed martial artist. Today I'm at Main Event Sports Club and I'm going to be showing you some needle throwing techniques. The needle is a Chinese um, instrument. The needle is actually used as part of clothing, as a part of women's garment, their hair, pinups. Also used in for armor. It was also used in for uh, cattle and farming needs. So just like all martial arts weapons, they were first used as farm equipment. The needle could stack items, it could, it could pin uh, various uh, different things together. Uh, but what they noticed is that the needle, if put with a proper counterweight, could actually be used as a throwing weapon. Now obviously, with the use of firearms today, we can see the importance to throw an object without actually having anybody within a three to 10 foot space near you, which obviously pr protects you while still risking their life without any damage to yourself. When going to throw your needle, there's only really a few different ways to throw uh, a needle correctly. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have firm position between your forefinger and your thumb of your needle. Allowing this to rest kind of firmly in the center of your thumb, but very loose in between your, two, your thumb and your forefinger is very important for an accurate throw. Almost like throwing darts in a regular dart game, you have to be very hand-eye coordinated. You have to know and see at all times what you're throwing at. Because if you're not looking what you're throwing at, it's pretty much a crapshoot of where it's going to go. So the ability of learning how to properly hold the needle between the thumb and the forefinger is very important. As you hold your thumb and forefinger together, you want to make sure that the needle has an ability to sit out almost above itself, where you see my finger goes off in one direction, my thumb in another direction, and the needle sitting up there in the center. As I go to throw my needle, I want to make sure that I have a movement that's going to be fluid with what my arm is made for. That means using my elbows, that means using my shoulders, that means using leverage, that means using my whole body weight at any one time to make sure that I put the generated power needed to carry this device where it needs to go with the force that I need it to use. Now maybe I needed to stick to a board or maybe I needed to kill somebody. Now, when allowing yourself proper room, you want to make sure you're loose at the knees, you're not too stiff, and you also want to make sure that your eyes are on the target at all times. It's very important. Well, as you throw this star, there's many different techniques you can use. You can use the backhanded motion, which creates a lot of generated power from your triceps and your back rear delt. You can use the overhand baseball throw, a pitcher's throw, which looks like a, a baseball pitcher, which will come from across the shoulder, and will actually be let go uh, right before the arm makes it into in front of the face. You have the underarm throw, which is literally from your front deltoids that comes up in front of you, and you flick your wrist in order to generate the, uh, the accuracy for the throw. You have to practice each one of these uh, over a thousand times, let's say over a thousand times in a week. If you practice this over a thousand times in a week, you will start becoming very good in a matter of months, and you'll become a master in a matter of years. And those are some needle throwing techniques. See you guys next time.